With major changes to the property tax legislation, which includes significant increases to the stamp duty land tax rate and the mortgage interest relief, we'd like to show you how we can help reduce the amount of tax you'll need to pay. To keep things simple, this is how the changes have affected one of our more straightforward buy-to-let clients, Denise. Under the old rules, Denise would have had a net income of £40,000 and tax payable of £5,880. With the new rules, she would have tax payable of £25,403. That's a huge increase of £19,523. Ilias Patel accountants have several solutions to reduce the tax you may have to pay. Here's just one example. Our client has 11 buy-to-let properties owned by himself, his wife and his son, who has been involved in running their property business since 2014. The properties have a market value of £6 million, an original cost of £2.85 million, and potential gains of £3.15 million. He also has a borrowing of £1.1 million and a rental income of £275,000 per annum. The current property tax issues the client faces would be the tax on rental profits, capital gains tax and inheritance tax. To overcome these issues, we proposed the following steps for him. Step 1. Formalise his partnership with his son, even though he's been operating in partnership since 2014 and must continue to operate on that basis until the 2017 tax year. Step 2. Incorporate the property business to be held by a new UK company. The corporation tax rate he would have to pay is 20%, falling to only 17% in 2020. If those funds are reinvested into the business or remain as cash or investments, he wouldn't have to pay any more tax. Additionally, the restriction on mortgage interest relief does not apply to companies. Step 3. Transfer the properties into the new company at their current market value without having to pay the capital gains tax, stamp duty land tax and any other tax. Step 4. For his borrowing, we suggest he transfer the beneficial ownership of the properties only to the company. Step 5. With the inheritance tax, we'd suggest to establish an employer trust so he can transfer his shares in the company to it, thus saving £1.48 million of inheritance tax, as the full value would be outside of the estate of any person. We believe that our property planning proposal is the best way to go forward. For more information or to book a free initial consultation, call us now on 01772 788 200 or visit our website www.taxexpert.co.uk today.